Welcome to Green Magic Gardening. My name is Ribby Boy, and this is the People's Channel. That is right, my friends. The channel where you are not just a number. That's right, you have a voice on this channel. That's why I highly encourage you guys, drop a comment, drop a like, make sure you're subscribed. I do a monthly giveaway once a month. I pick I pick a random video when I do a live and I use a comment picker from YouTube and it picks one of your guys' comments. And I pick, I do it twice. So two of you guys win and I get to send you a pack of beans and I have tons of different ones my friends that's right so drop a like drop a comment love talking to you guys I absolutely love talking to you guys you guys are like my family this is going to be the seed to harvest video you're going to see all the way from day one seedling all the way until the final product at the end of this video guys but do not skip ahead please if you are a Green Magic fan, you will watch the whole video. <laughs> that is right. The retention helps, guys. Look at already just plain medium. This is just two gallon plastic pots. Plain blank Pro Mix, guys. HP Pro Mix, the medium. I filled them up nice. These are nice big two gallon pots. And they each have their own drip tray. Um, I planted four puff puff gas one in each one guys and they just came up today so the second we watered them in <laughs> gnats guys that's what i mean the soil i got hasn't been infected with gnats first time i bought it that it was stored outdoors three since i started this channel i bought it at the same place never anywhere else first time i did gnats in every single grow pretty obvious when you there's nothing in the soil guys it's plain pro mix and nets but there's barely any there's no larva in here this is a very they're gonna they're going away so thank god it's not bad we're gonna be going synthetic with this grow guys i'm gonna try to do this as cheaply and as easy as possible so day one we have come up the light is at 20 percent now it is at 28 inches and we are good to go guys and this whole video is sponsored by spider farmer guys we are in a three by three spider farmer tent um six inch inline exhaust fan from spider farmer with their controller beautiful setup guys an old se 5000 that's still rocking for years now with the uv look at this thing never lost a diode on a single light ever guys these things are built to last uh, fully adjustable this is going to get us all the way through this whole grow as you will see by the end of this video guys this light kills it so yes day one and there you have it we just watered it guys oh oops. with normal tap water ph at 6.2 bubbled overnight and then ph guys and then i give it four turkey basters or four shot glasses either or take your toys you can copy this grow to the t guys just use your own genetics and i'm telling you you'll get the same results if you follow my instructions i'm not a pro i don't claim to be a pro i've had a lot of issues in the past but i've had way more success than i have failures so yeah it is what it is freaking love you guys day one of the puff puff gas it's gonna be a good one well and here we are on day seven guys we skip ahead to day seven all i did was give them a couple turkey basters like three or four days ago that was it and uh we just watered them with 1.2 liters split between the four as you can see dechlorinated bubbled ph and yeah, the light is going to be, we're turning the light up to around 40%, just under, guys. Staying at the same. Everything is in check. Humidity's perfect. Temperature's perfect. It is going well, guys. And those, just don't even worry about those. Uh, they're for another pro. But yes, we're going to be topping them, trellising them in this video. We're going to probably do the whole works, guys. So you're going to want to watch the whole video. It's about to get real. 
We keep it raw, real 100. We keep it the people's channel. All right, guys, here we are back at day 14. We're gonna skip ahead seven days. They are looking great. They are very similar genotypes. So, but yeah, look at that. They all look exactly the same almost. I think I'm gonna top them very soon, but we just gave them about two cups of water each, guys. About 500 mils each, 600 mils to be exact, I would say. Um, because this jug with the full milk jug in it, see 1.5, it's more around 1.2 liters for the whole jug. So they got, and I split it between each one, so they got about 600 mils of water each. Dechlorinated, bubbled, you guys know the whole roll. pH at 6.3, nothing else has changed. That is it for day 14. Well, day 16 and we are topping each one, guys. No scissors needed now. Most people would go ahead and they'd take that whole thing out there, right? Nope, not me. You pull back the, you pull back the leaves. You see that little thing there? Watch. Snap, there you go. You roll it out with your fingers, no scissors needed. Now two tops will grow out of there, guys. There you have it for day 16. I'm gonna top each one of them. Well, here, day 18 has arrived, guys. Light is the same, everything is the same. Everything is in perfect check. I got everything turned off right now. The topping took, they each got two growing out. Just gave them a liter of pH water at 6.2. Just normal tap water, bubbled overnight, and pH at 6.2, like I said. And there you have it for day 18. Day 21, guys. Three weeks in exactly. I know the last day I said it was 18. It wasn't. It was day 19. I totally gapped out. So it's two days later. We have raised up the light now. It is at 32 inches from the canopy at 40%, guys. Um, everything's pretty damn good in here. Pretty damn good. So, yeah, it's a little cool. I think it's a little bit warmer than 72, but we're fine. We're fine there. There's no heat on in the room. I could turn some heat on, but uh, we're good. Everything's looking great. They're still good from their last watering, and I think for their next watering, because we're, th uh, we're three weeks in today, as soon as this is dry in a couple of days, we are gonna hit it with some, with its first feeding of green rush nutrients. Well, it's day 23 for these girls. We have raised the light to 30 inches from the canopy, um, and they haven't had anything for the last four days, guys. So we gave them a full dose of leafy green. Six liters of water I took. You guys know I do it. Bubbled overnight. Um, pH to 6.2. Well, six of these into the six liters. Mixed up good. pH to 6.2. And six liters. They got one each plus another half of one each, guys. And it's day 23 for the Puff Puff. Look at how similar they all look. But yep, there you have it, guys. Their first feeding. So here we are at day 28 now, guys. It's going along nice. I know you're supposed to go feeding water, feed water, feed water. But these plants don't seem... They definitely don't need to be fed again. They are really dark green. So we're going water again today. We just went uh, about a little bit over a liter each one with a full dose of MPK raw silica in it. And it was pH at 6.4, guys. So yeah, lights at 30 inches from the canopy at 40% still. Everything is going great. Day 28. Well, day 31, guys, three days later. I'm checking in this early because I know we were supposed to go water technically, but I had it mixed up already, so we just went with a full dose. Uh, they took six liters between all four. A full dose of Green Rush mixed one teaspoon per get, uh, liter of water, guys. pH to 6.3. And we just slowly went around with six of them. And now I'm trying to incorporate some training. 
with each of these beautiful plants, guys. They are beauties. So there you have it, the day 31. Okay, same day, same day. I just wanted to show you guys the training uh, that the bud clips do. This is why I like these things. Look at that. So we could also put some on here. We could, you know, you can go buck wild with these things, man. You see that? Those are the two tops. Two tops. Two tops. I train each one over. Every plant is pretty much so much alike. Now, tomorrow will come in and they want to be straight up straight up right and you can keep doing it and then it kind of just allows for more of an even canopy my friends you got to admit that's a beautiful sight man i'm doing one hell of a job there day 31 the same day well day 33 has arrived guys so yeah we just fed them i just gave it seven liters just about seven liters we took seven liters and we put seven teaspoons of the flowering, the bloom, um, green rush nutrients. And then we put some Gaia Green um, help extract. Because I'm starting to see, looking like uh, a little bit of a um, potassium, but potentially potassium, guys. But yeah, there you have it. It's day 33. We just fed them. And uh, we just went around slowly, and seven liters split up between the four of them. And they are looking great. Well, here's the next day, guys. I was just in here uh, topping. Oh, it's gonna be so loud. Mm. So I topped, I topped it there, I topped it there, and I topped it there. The same on this one that one there and then we're gonna keep going oh that one's done like i showed you guys in the first one it's really hard to do with one hand but you see that little thing in there and you're just gonna roll that out bang look at it. it just came out see that head that's what it should look like I'm gonna do it for each one four to five times. I'll probably hit that one, 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 and that one. And then they'll grow eight each. So that one's got four, I won't do that one. This one's got four, I'll do that four and that four. And then they'll grow two, 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 and two. And then we should be able to train it out, maybe trellis this and well on our way to one awesome grow. Well, day 36 has arrived, guys. It's been, what, three days? We topped them. Everything is going beautifully. I just gave them one liter of water, pH, just plain water, pH at 6.1. That's why they moved around. I was filming for the uh, weekly series, but this is the seed to harvest. But yeah, everything's the same, same temp. Everything is beautiful, guys, in perfect range. They look absolutely beautiful. And, yeah, day 36 of edge. Well, guys, unfortunately, we're back the very next day. They're bone dry already. So I just gave them, I had to give them a liter and a half each. A full liter and a half each, you guys. Just enough to get a little bit of runoff, as you see. And it's sucking it right back up. So these ones didn't get any. Probably could have even took a little bit more. But, yeah, literally the next day. So... Uh, that tells me we don't want to push them too much further in these pots. As soon as these tops grow out, we're going to flip the flower sooner than later. Now, in the meantime, I took off these clips over here, right? The bud clips. Now they're solid. Solid as a rock there. And I swear it increases because it breaks it up, right? So it increases the nutrient um, uptake. I swear it works. Now, what I did, these branches were up around here, guys. So I put them on there. Now when these grow up, look at Bada boom, bada bing. We will have a full canopy. And then when we flip the flower with the little bit of stretch that we get, you're looking at one of the nicest grows on all of YouTube, baby. Well, day 39, it's been three more days, guys. And these are just coming along beautiful. 
So they got a full dose of green rush nutrients today. One teaspoon per liter of water and they got a liter and a half each. And I've been moving the clips up. I moved them all up. See, so we can start building out this way. We're gonna give it one more week of veg because they're growing so much faster than I anticipated. See, we need more clips. Beautiful plants, guys. But yeah, they got a full dose today. The light is just over 40%. It was just under, I just turned it up the last day or two to just over 40%. And they're growing super fast. And they're, that's it for day 39. Well, guys, it's day 40 has arrived and they just got a half a liter each for the two front ones. And the two back ones got a liter each because they're literally, they just got fed yesterday and they're drying up that quick. So yes, we'll hit them today. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna give them another dose of Green Rush. Day 40, that's what I did. All right, guys, we skip ahead a week. We just did a lollipop. We're six days, five days into flower now. Five days into flower, the light's up at 260% now. And we just did a little defoliate underneath, little lollipop, right? We top dressed them with a tablespoon of 444 and a tablespoon of 284 while a heaping one of 284 and less than a than one of 444 and a half a cup of worm castings in each one mix it all in nice so we're going to do a combination of uh since they're eating so much guys and they're just massive like when they're out here you should have seen them they're just huge but this is the fairest version of the video why is this upside down like what in the fuck Okay, whatever. But uh, yeah, so that's it. Day six of flower. We watered them in with about eight liters of water, guys, with fish shit in it too. So there you have it. Well, we skip ahead to day nine of flower now, guys. Everything is going beautifully in this grow. Look at that canopy absolutely amazing as you guys see we lollipopped it a little bit when we gave it that top dress there yesterday it got a full dose of uh, green rush the beefy bud beefy bloom and then today we uh gave it the watered down it was like really diluted i didn't want to waste it right so we just gave it to it a little bit of runoff it'll suck it up but yeah day nine of flower it's coming along Really nice, guys. The light's at 60%. And in the next seven days, we're gonna have to zip tie that to the roof. We got the spider farmer fan going. This fan under here blowing. Temps and humidity's good. I'd like the humidity down a little bit from that, but I'm not too worried yet. I can bring it down and just open the window a little more. But yeah, 
And there you have it guys, a day nine of flower. Coming along great. Well guys, day 15 off of flower is here. We are almost done the stretch. They are stretching quite a bit. So we ran into problems. Don't know what's going on here. Raised the light up to 20 inches. Uh, the leaves were twisting and stuff. The leaves are untwisting. We gave it a top dress. I don't know if I mentioned in this video yet that we did the top dress and I, about, uh, I can't even remember, like what, a week ago, a little longer. And um, they go through the stretch. Within three days, they start showing issues. I've gotten a million different answers to what it could be. I'm actually very stumped on this one. Um, I think it's going to do really good either way. We just dosed it with cow mag. Plain water with cow mag. We're going to see if that helps. That's the most common answer I've got. About five different people have said that's exactly what I would do. So that's what I'm going to try. Because that's what it kind of does look like. So I think we'd see nitrogen toxicity, guys. If it was too much, there's no clawing. There's no, it's, and there's a lot of nitrogen in it. So if that was the issue, I don't know. So I'm kind of lost here, but that's a day 15 of flower. What's going on? Skip ahead to day 22 of flower, guys. So I went ahead and I did that top dress. Like I said, um, I know everyone was probably thinking like, what, you're giving it more? But yeah, so that was like what, I don't know, it's been about a week now or whatever, but we gave it the top dress and that's all it's gonna need all the way through, all the way through now, guys. And look at, remember how it was, this plant was starting to go? It's all coming around now. I just watered them so they're looking droopy now. They were super praying, guys. Like I literally just watered them. They got a liter and a half each of um, cow mag water, just normal um, water dose with cow mag. And it's day 22 of flower, and we're going to come back in tomorrow, and we're going to lollipop these up because it needs it. And then it will even use less nutrients because there'll be less mass for it to maintain, right? So, but yeah, that's it, guys. The light has been at around 70% I'm keeping at, and I'm telling you, they've been a loving life. 75 degrees. And it was at 58, but it's, was it open like this now? It's usually sitting around 55, 58. It doesn't get over 60 usually, but yeah, looking great. Well, guys, we skip ahead to week five of the flower. We are in week five of flower now, guys. Um, what day exactly? Week five of day three, I think. So right around midweek of uh, middle of the week five of flower. So we have done nothing, just been watering it, guys. I did give it a, a good dose of, um, well, we gave it fish shit, I believe, once, and we gave it a good dose of um, soluble seaweed extract. That's right, for the, um, for the potassium, guys, because you can see it's starting to run. The potassium, and I haven't updated this seed to harvest in a bit, so... We're still just, you know, trimming some leaves off here and there to make, to get the light in, guys, to deal with this stretchy mess. The light's been at 60%. We're starting to get a little fox tailing, so I'm going to drop it down to 50%. But humidity's been bang on. It hasn't been over 50% really at all. 75 degrees. Everything's just optimal, guys, except for the mess up, so... There you have it, guys, halfway through week five, and we'll be back in another week or so. Well, I don't even know when the last time I touched on this, guys, but we are two weeks away from harvest. That's right, guys. We just finished up week seven. We're starting week eight, I believe. And they are looking done even the way they are right now. Front ones did get a bit fatter. We've just been flushing one liter of water a day. We might start going a little bit more, maybe a liter and a half each. And yeah, about two more weeks, guys, give or take. Look at that. This turned out much better than I was expecting, than I thought it was gonna. Like those are nice size, man. These got fatter than I thought we're gonna they were gonna too. Ooh, stuttering. <laughs> wow. Actually, not too bad, guys, considering I thought it was going to be just horrible the way it was going. Look at that. They're all dense. Like, this, 
this, uh, these genetics, even the small tiny buds on the lowers, like even that, rock solid. Rock solid, man. Pretty freaking wild, guys. Well, there you have it. We are two weeks out. We are just flushing. Giving it, we just gave them a liter each of 6.4. Nope, 6.3. And they still got a lot of green. But beautiful. Just beautiful, guys. Well, guys, here we are back 11 days later, 17 days later, right? We are, these are the puff puff gas. Remember the long ones with the big, big, long stems we were growing in this tent? These bad boys right here, which uh, they're just, they're going to be back in the bathroom. I keep them in the bathroom because it stays way colder in there. But when the bathroom is going to be used, I take them out clearly, right? If you're taking a dump or you're going to shower, right? Other than that, they stay in there with toilet seat down. I know it's not the best sanitary place for them, but you're burning the freaking things in the end. So who cares, right? Um, it is what it is, guys. And then other than that, when I can, I dry in here, right? But it's just, I'm not going to ruin them. So 17 days, all we did for the last 17 days was they got a liter of water each every day, guys. I just kept hitting them with a liter every day. And I got to the point where it's just a little bit would run out the bottom each time because it built up, right? And then um, they stopped drinking, I noticed, altogether. So it was like a time to choppy choppy. So yeah, that's all you guys missed for the last 17 days. And look at them. So I'll give you guys a good look here. Now, I weighed this all. It's four pounds, around exactly four pounds. All these plants weigh, they weigh about a pound each. And that's after they've been cut down for 24 hours. They've been drying for 24 hours, guys. And I just weighed them with four pounds all together. So I don't know what we're going to get out of this. But look at them suckers. It turned out beautiful, guys. This turned out to be one of my nicer grows, actually. And I thought I botched this whole thing. And I told you guys they don't lose a lot of size, this plant. I'm going to have so oh, man dropping shit sorry guys i'm gonna have so much freaking cares to clean off too i bet but you know it is what it is look at them buds oh wow guys they are nice and done too i was gonna do the two-part harvest but look at my fingers wow that's like i'm not even i'm just holding them like that i'm not actually touching them even like holy crap yeah look at these hairs man Fuck, look at that. It's like freaking jam on my fingers, man. Wow, guys. We hit her out the park with this, and look at it all, too. Holy shit, guys. So there you have it. I'm not even sure how long we went for them. I believe it was right around the nine-week marks, guys, give or take. And um, I will come back. I'll get some trimming for you guys. This is the seed to harvest version you're watching clearly, so I can't, everything's more thorough in the playlist. There'll be a whole playlist if you guys want to go back and watch everything I did, a half an hour video every single week of what I did for these plants. And yeah, this is the seed to harvest version. Clearly, you guys know that. Freaking gingy hairs, man. What do you do when you have a cat like that? It's like a cat, one cat. This cat. You, you little rat cat. <laughs> no, man. So, yes, now you want to keep it around 65 degrees, 65% humidity, guys. If it's off 70 and 69, this and sex, you know, 71 over here, it's not the end of the world. It'll still work out. Hang them whole. I like to hang them whole like this. They'll be in the bathroom, right, on the thing, so they're not so crunched in together. And then I. I try to bend the branches out as much as I can. Oof. And then they're not all together making some microclimate in between, causing problems, right? And if you keep a fan in there in your in your area, don't blow it on it. Blow it like on the side, you know, beside them or something, just so there's air movement in the room. You can do that. But yeah. We'll come back for some trimming and, and stuff, and I'll show you guys the end yield, exactly how much we got, and, well, just keep watching, and you'll see that. Well, guys, it's harvest, and we are done. We're all done trimming. 
that's what was left boom look at the trichomes guys that's why these trays are awesome we trimmed almost all of it it's just crap left and boom i got the buds out look at the purple oh my god these buds guys it is bomb it turned out so freaking tasty like sweet some are like sweet smelling with like some skunk in it oh my god 22 grams of trichomes got her all back in the bag and now that you've seen it the moment of truth the bag weighs 20 grams exactly and we got just over a half pound eight ounces guys we killed it i'm happy with that we could have done better could get 12 ounces to a pound even out of that space but a half pound, half a pound for that that's really good i'm really happy with that i'm sure anybody would be happy with these results guys so there you have it love you all hope you enjoyed this whole seed to harvest i'm going to be making one of these for every single series i do guys for the people that may not be trying to learn and watch half an hour videos once a week for the whole series you know half an hour times 12 videos or so and you can just watch the whole um, seed harvest all in one guys so it's a lot of extra work believe me but you guys are worth it love you all see you below make sure you drop in a comment guys you want to be entered for that giveaway and you never know if i'm gonna pick this video so drop a comment drop a like see you below